We've all heard that looting quickly and having fast rotations is a huge aspect of being a good Apex player. But what if I told you there's a legend that straight up just does that for you? What's up guys, it's Valued and that's right. Today, we're gonna cover the only legend in the game that literally makes you loot and be ready for rotations faster, Loba. By the end of this video, you'll know the ins and outs of the loot queen, but we have a lot to talk about, so let's get right into it. Loba is all about helping her team loot quickly and effectively, with her ultimate being the primary method of her loot stealing ways. Her ult activates the Black Market Boutique, creating a shop accessible by her and her squad. This shop gives you access to all the loot in about a 100 meter radius, and while everyone can take two pieces of loot, ammo can be grabbed freely. Anything from attachments, grenades, and heals can be selected, making her ultimate super versatile. This ability is at the core of what Loba brings to her team, and there are a ton of cool tricks with this one. But we gotta cover the rest of Loba's kit really quick before we take a deeper dive into the uses of her ult. Loba's passive further adds onto her looting power, allowing her to see all purple or gold rarity items through any obstacles up to 110 meters. This ability can actually be huge at certain stages of the game and in the right scenarios, and it allows Loba to ping anything she sees for her squad. This can be pretty strong, especially in some specific scenarios that we'll talk about shortly. And lastly in Loba's kit, we have a burglar's best friend, her jump drive bracelet. This tactical ability allows Loba to throw a bracelet that teleports her to its location as soon as it touches the ground. The bracelet can take some time to get through the air and has a visible trail behind it, so you have to be creative when using this thing in combat. On top of that, its 30 second cooldown means you have to be deliberate about its use. No spamming it every second when it comes off cooldown. I'm looking at you, Octanes. While this is Loba's only form of mobility, it can be incredibly powerful in the right hands and gives her just enough movement to keep her out of trouble or allow her to get good positioning to start a fight. The developers recently unlocked Lobo's movement while the bracelet is traveling through the air, a much needed change that really makes the ability feel so much better. Where Lobo's tactical really shines though is in how quickly she can gain high ground or traverse across certain areas on the map. Now, keep in mind guys, this ability is quite slow and the trail behind it makes it easy for enemies to spot, but you can still gain high ground faster than most characters in the game, and it can help you make a cheeky getaway if you're pushed. While not the focal point of Loba's kit, it gives her a bit of much needed mobility. Alright guys, now it's time to get into some of the more advanced aspects of Loba's kit that really lets her unlock for her team. But before we do, if you're seriously looking to unlock your true potential and hone in on the more advanced aspects of your skills, then make sure to head over to ProGuys.com. There you'll find some of the best players in the world, ready to help you take your game to the next level. And whether it's learning to put into practice the tips we're talking about today or learning anything you want, they can help you make anything happen. Be sure to check it out in the description below. All right guys, now that we have a general sense of Loba's kit, let's talk about some of the more in-depth uses for it and why she's a powerful option for your squad. As I said before, Loba's strength lies in her looting prowess, with her passive allowing her to spot valuable items and her ultimate allowing her squad to get their hands on them quickly. Both of these abilities can have a large impact at every single stage of the game, beginning right when dropping out of the ship. Loba's passive allows her to pinpoint valuable loot as her squad is dropping into their first location, and with her ability to ping this loot, can set her team up for a lot of success right off the drop. It may not seem like much, but you can basically guarantee that your squad drops on the highest level loot in a POI, thanks to this passive. This could be a purple armor, or even a golden R301 in a loot crate. These types of items off drop will straight up win you all early game fights if the enemy just has white armor and a Mozambique. Loba's Black Market can also guarantee your squad is looted up early in the game. With the charge of this ability starting at 50% off spawn, you'll usually have this guy up to make sure you didn't miss any valuable loot on your first POI, or even better, to quickly check the first location your squad is rotating to. While Loba's passive helps her see valuable items, her ultimate is going to let you grab those valuable items for yourself and can save your squad a ton of time while you're looting. Do you have your ulti up and you're coming up on a new POI? Well then throw it down on the edge and see what's inside. If there are only a couple of items worthwhile, grab what you want, load up on some more ammo, and keep moving. This is one of the best uses for this ability throughout the early stages of a game, because it speeds up your rotation and keeps you from blindly entering a new area and risking getting pushed. 
Using this ability throughout a match and getting consistent value out of it will be the first major step in becoming a great Loba player. And even with the recent nerfs moving the cooldown to two minutes, Black Market has an insane amount of value to any team. And if you can find a good use for it, even after the first use, that's when you really wanna start transforming your squad's loot and pathing throughout the mid and late game. All right, guys, while Loba doesn't have an Octane Pad or a Wraith Portal to move her squad to new locations for loot, her Black Market speeds up the looting process on its own, which in most cases will actually have your squad on the move even faster than if they had a quick portal to a location or a jump pad. In a way, Loba actually has team mobility, just not in the way we like to think about it. She speeds up her team's looting, which shaves valuable time off how long your squad has to stay put in a single location. While it's not on-demand mobility, it is taking time off your rotation, which is essentially a speed buff to your movement across the map. Seriously guys, if you struggle with overlooting or you have a friend you queue with who does, Loba can really help speed your game up and have you prepared for a fight earlier than having to scrounge it all up for yourself. When it comes to using Loba's ult, you'll gradually begin to understand the best time to use it the more reps you have with it. And while using Loba's ultimate on cooldown is important, it can be hard to find the balance between using it often and having a valuable use for it. This is going to take a little bit of practice, but the general rule of thumb is if you see a decent opportunity and you're not coming into the final circles of a match, use it. The only time you should really be holding on to it is when you have a specific use in mind. And even then, make sure it's not too far from the two minute cooldown of Black Market. Because this ability has no value to your team unless you're using it. So it's better to overuse the ability while you learn than it is to just hold on to it looking for the perfect spot to get the maximum loot. As you move into the later stages of the game, finding good use of your ult can be tricky, but this is where the real skill ceiling of Loba comes in. Having one or two uses of Black Market in the final rings of a game can seriously be a game changer, and some of the cooler perks of the ability really start to shine through. If you're in an area that has a lot of fighting going on, but you're not looking to get involved yet, you can actually loot death boxes and even go outside of the zone within the range of your black market. This can be huge when looking to finish off the last couple attachments on your loadout or top off your ammo reserves before getting into some big fights. In the final fights of a game, it can be a game changer to have this ability ready to go. If you or your squad have never done this, it may not seem like a big deal, but getting a black market use off before fighting the last squad or two can literally win you the game. A lot of players don't get good use out of Loba's ult to help them close out a game, so hear me out. Alright, in many games, the final circle or two can have a lot of teams fighting for position. And since you're playing Loba, your squad should be able to get pretty good positioning in most games due to how fast you looted throughout the match. And this will let you focus on the circles more, leading to you having more opportunity to have great zone positioning in the later stages of a match. Assuming you're able to pull this off and have decent positioning for the final couple zones, you should have a lot of squads dying around you in those final circles. Whether you're holding your ground and someone gets third partied or you push them to finish them off and retreat, or they get wiped in a building out of your line of sight, Black Market lets you yoink any loot within its radius. And even if there's only a couple death boxes, at this stage in the game there's likely to be some worthwhile loot that can help your squad close out the game. Just keep in mind, Loba's ulti takes 4.5 seconds to activate and has a lot of visual and audio cues that will alert nearby enemies if you're using it. So make sure you've wiped out nearby enemies or you're ready to fight when you're using this ability. Alright guys, we could talk about some more advanced tips and scenarios with Loba's kits for hours, but the key is to understand your role on the squad. You are the master of loot. Your job is to keep your squad as looted as possible, but more importantly, on the move with good loot. While you want to make sure you have the best loot, a big perk of having a Loba on your squad is being able to move quickly while still ensuring you have solid loot. She allows her squad to get loot from safe distances and quickly, opening up her options on pathing across the entire map. And as Loba, you should be looking to use her ultimate as often and as early as you can. Then, whenever your squad is low on resources, or there's a valuable area you want to loot, stay close to your squad and use the black market. Keep in mind guys, you don't have any speed boosts or gun shields to keep you alive. And while you have your tactical to jump to another location, it's slow and has very heavy animations when using it. So stay with your squad and play the supportive role, using your bracelet to keep high ground. This will allow you to scout and stay safe while also being in the best position to help your squad in a nearby fight, or using your bracelet from height to get more range in a fight. Without abilities to directly help you in a fight and a slow mobility move, staying with your squad is even more important on Loba. 
Guys, Loba is super underrated. And after this video, I hope I see a couple more believers out there who play Loba. While she isn't as flashy as a lot of other picks, she's a great support option that can really help her squad win some games. There are far too many advanced tips to fit into this video, so any of you Loba mains out there, let us know in the comment section below your favorite tip that wasn't covered today. Anyway guys, it's been valued, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.